Hi everyone, it's me, Crystal. If you guys are wondering why I'm popping up on your feed so soon after releasing our very first episode, well, this episode that you're listening to right now was meant to be the very first episode. But I felt that it was a bit everywhere with our subjects. Nonetheless, I figured I'd release it as an episode zero or bonus content. So here you go, our very first recorded episode of the Anime Journeys podcast. Joining me today as my co-host is my wonderful assistant who makes sure that all of our interviews on our YouTube channel are 99.9% error free, it's Tanya. A pleasure to have you, Tanya. How have you been today? Uh, I've been good. I'm just happy that everyone uh, can finally uh, hear me. <laughs> right. You're always behind the scenes making sure our wonderful interviews are done at least 99.9% error free and of course nobody sees you nobody hears your voice except uh once in a while when you say cut yeah that's about it it's only <laughs> cut live uh hold on uh stop or action <laughs> right yeah but finally your voice shall be heard and i couldn't be happier than to have you as a co-host for this podcast and the purpose of this podcast is to just share anything and everything about anime in the anime fandom including anime voice actors, new anime, manga, cosplay, convention life, all that packed into this awesome podcast. So for today, me and Tanya decided to talk about our anime convention experiences. As you may already know, we do a lot of press and media work at anime conventions. This sometimes allows us to have experiences that other normal congoers with the general attendee badge normally wouldn't experience. So let's dive in into our most recent anime convention experience. Beginning with Anime Los Angeles 2023. As the name implies, yes, this is an anime convention in Los Angeles, or at least it used to be, back when it was held at the LAX at the Marriott. Uh, And then it got moved over to Tanya's hometown of Ontario, California, and now it's held at the the Long Beach uh, Convention Center, which is a much bigger venue than the Marriott Hotel or Ontario Convention Center. That I have to agree. (laughs) Yeah. Anime Los Angeles uh, 2023, which just happened in January of this year. And we had the honor of Mm -hmm. meeting. uh, We're both Guilty Gear fans. So, of course, when Guilty Gear uh, Strive came out, we started playing it. And more so when, you know, uh, Bridget came out, you know, because we're both transgender. So I was like, yes, you know, Bridget. Mm -hmm. And then I'm a huge fan of Bridget, but you're a huge fan of Testament, right, Tanya? Yes, I am a big fan of Testament. Oh, man, I just love their outfit. <laughs> we had the honor of meeting the voice of your favorite character, uh, uh, Tanya, of uh, Testament. So, I mean, that was that was an awesome experience. Kelly McKee is uh, definitely a great person to meet, honestly. And, oh, my God, I, I remember when I met her, I was like, <laughs> I was like stargazed. Like, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I was so shy. She's very chill to to talk to, and uh, that we interviewed her, of course. And if you guys want to see that interview, well, obviously go to our YouTube channel; it's already up there. But yeah, that was an, an awesome experience. I remember I was in my Bridget cosplay while I was interviewing her, so that was quite an experience. Right. I think I had an awkward moment there during that interview too, because I remember the last question I asked her, because I was curious. She had done this role where the the title of the anime started with the word bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and i was so shy say that word and 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 i remember like i kind of squeaked it out like the, the bastard part i kind of squeaked it out and uh she was like uh-huh excuse me and i'm like bastard and she's like uh <laughs> I, like i panicked because I, I thought i thought i had said it wrong is it not bastard so i actually decided to include that audio bit from the interview here so let's take a listen Moving away from Guilty Gear Strife and going into your most recent work in Excuse Language, but I think the title of that is Bastard. Right, is it? One more the, time? The, uh, the, the, what's it called? The Bastard. Um, is, is it? Is that, is that the name yes, of it? I'm Bastard sorry. on Netflix. <laughs> I, I thought huh? I butchered the name on that. I'm like, no. oh my god. It's just Bastard exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> it, was, it was really awkward. Uh, that, I left that in the interview because I thought it was funny. <laughs> what else did we do at that convention? I remember we went to the aquarium. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, those who are again going to Anime Los Angeles for the first for the first time, don't forget the Anime Los Angeles is located at the uh, Long Beach Convention Center, which is adjacent to the Aquarium of the Pacific, which will obviously end your convention day in a, in a bliss. Really, uh, I don't know if the aquarium allows you to go in cosplay, um, so you know, go there in cosplay at your risk. I'm segueing now to our convention experiences from last year, and of course, I'm, I'm going to mention. 
anime Pasadena, mainly because we got to meet the cast of Death Note. In fact, we got to interview Elle and Ryuk for, uh, the, from the cast. Oh, man, I just love Death Note. I saw all three of them, and I was like, oh, man, this is a dream come true. <laughs> all the cast, it was light. L and Ryuk. I'm like, oh my. Oh, and it was supposed to be Misa too, but she at the last minute couldn't come. And I was so disappointed. But yeah, meeting Light, L and Ryuk and interviewing them, except Light because he, he couldn't at the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember asking Alessandro, the voice of L, about the Netflix version of Death Note. Oh, God. I even, I even looked at you like, why would you ask that? You're like, you're like dude, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> like that's like the most forbidden thing not to talk about you're like yeah what do you think about uh the live action death though and i'm like why <laughs> i really wanted to take his, his his uh his stance on on the role you know this was alessandra's response to my question what do you think of the netflix adaptation of death note let's take a listen Speaking of live action adaptations, uh, what are your opinions on the Netflix version? Netflix? What Netflix version? <laughs> <laughs> Let's forget that ever happened. Yeah. Those who are interested in watching the interview, once again, it's on our YouTube channel. Of course, we're forgetting the last one we had, which is AnyFest. We were both uh, contributors to AnyFest. I was a guest at AnyFest, in fact, as their uh, media personality. And guest liaison for the first time ever. Lie helped Annie Fest bring in some of my voice actor friends, uh, Jackie Lastra, Kelly O'Hanian, who's a voice of Bridget. You know, I was so excited because this was her first convention. I was like so geeking out. So this is a wonderful experience to to have her there at her first convention. You know, and so yeah, you know, it's awesome. Uh, Jackie Lastra, of course, who I've interviewed uh, uh, two times actually. One are uh, one when we first met, and the other one she got the role as a uh, uh, in Genshin Impact and Genshin Impact. Excuse me. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience. And how was your experience there? Actually, I had a I had a fun time. Uh, one of the things I didn't expect was uh, one of my uh, close friends to be there actually, and meeting um oh my god, what's her name now? I'm trying to remember for uh, Cyberpunk. Oh, Rebecca. <laughs> Right, yeah, Alex, Alex Kaz- Ka- Kazares, I think her name is, uh, the voice yeah. of Rebecca. So I was able to actually bring in Alex, uh, from the voice of Rebecca from Cyberpunk, which was one of my biggest goals that I've accomplished thus far. And, you know, I got to interview too. too. So if you guys, again, once again, you guys, any interview that we mentioned here uh, are available on our YouTube channel. <laughs> but yes, you got to interview her and she did this amazing performance. <laughs> I think she freaked out everyone in the room because she yelled. She yeah, literally yeah. <laughs> performed the last scene of Rebecca from from Cyberpunk, <laughs> which requires her to yell. And I think I, I didn't get to see everyone's reaction because I was interviewing her. But I mean, when I listened, when I went back and listened to the interview and actually got to hear her scream, like whoa! And yes, I decided to include that portion of the interview here for you all to listen to. But fair warning, the audio will peak a lot. I decided to lower the volume. Uh, so those listening to uh, from from earphones do not have their ears uh, torn off. Thanks to Rebecca, but but here's how that went down. What what kind of sounds of exertion did you have to make in order to make that scene? Well, when you're in pieces, <laughs> when Rebecca's in pieces. Oh, we we just go for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you kind of you get ready, you rear up. There's there's three beeps and an imaginary fourth beep. So I always take my breath before before. So beep beep. <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> she's such a sweetheart too. She's so she's so lovely. Honestly, like if you guys ever get the chance to meet her at another convention, I guarantee you she's really yes. nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she is very very nice. Mm-hmm. And I think the last two ones that I'll mention because I don't want to run out of time here is uh, Crunchyroll Expo. And the only reason I'm mentioning that one is because we had a awesome and an awful time at that convention. I, my experience there was not good. Not good. Did you say the same thing for you? Or? Yeah, not uh, not good at all. And especially the drive. Oh, my God. I was... <laughs> oh, my God. So the drive from Los Angeles to San Jose, where uh, Crunchyroll Expo is held, it is approximately between six to seven hours straight. Yeah. Um, yeah, not I fun. Was... I'm not the driver, but as a passenger, I'm stressed out already. As a driver, Tanya, I can only imagine. Yeah, I was uh, extremely tired. And then I think what we your rides that was three in the morning. <laughs> Right. We passed um, because oh, that that was even more of a hectic thing because we, we had booked the hotel. We booked a hotel, mm-hmm. mind you, 
But because we passed the the check in date, they canceled our reservation. Mm-hmm. So we were at the last minute trying to find a a room, you know. And if you know anything about hotel booking at a convention on day one, is that they're all sold out. You will not find one. So even mm-hmm. remembering it makes me tired and sleepy. That's just exhausting to remember. <laughs> so that tired and sleepy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was that was oh, that was an awful experience. And that was just getting to the convention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the convention right. itself was not worth the six, seven hour drive. We did get to meet some wonderful people. Uh, I got to interview uh, Rosling Chang, the voice of Bei Ling from Turning Red. So that was good. That was that was amazing. That's a plus, yes. Which right. which again, me and her, we we met again uh, during the premiere of, of uh, Makoto Shinkai's newest film, uh, Suzume. When I did the re- the blue carpet premiere of that. And uh, she mm-hmm. she remembered me, so I was like, "Oh, yeah, that was cool." We also got to meet uh, Anya from uh, Family X Spy. Yes, 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 Family X Spy. <laughs> family X Spy is a spy family. Uh, spy, uh, Spy X Family. Okay, guys, is it Spy Family or is it Spy X Family? Guys, let us know. <laughs> our, fr- our fans are cringing right now. <laughs> I know. So it was like, uh... <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> Is it Hunter Hunter or Hunter uh, Hunter X Hunter? Oh God! Don't start that conversation. <laughs> Why would you start that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I think the best one that I've been to Country World Expo was the very first one we got to go, which was Country World Expo 2018, where we got to meet mm-hmm. the master of J horror, Junichi Ito. Ito. Ito san. Oh, you know, we got we got an autograph uh, on our uh, manga. Uh, the line. For his autograph session started at 4 a.m. and the uh, convention started at at, at 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. We were there at 4 a.m. and people were already there was already a long line. We were not the first ones, you know. And then, of course, props to Ita-san for helping me pay a one thousand dollar camera. <laughs> yes, which so so the story behind that, real quick, is that no, he didn't directly help me pay for it. I had two mangas of his that that he signed for me. One was Tommy and the other one was Frankenstein. And I wanted to keep both, obviously. And at the time, I had borrowed my friend's camera, which it was $1,000. You know, that's the value of it. I ended up breaking it. <laughs> I dropped it with the lens on and it just cracked and broke. And I was devastated. I told my friend, hey, I'm sorry I broke it. I will replace it. And he told me the worth of it. And yeah, it, it was worth over over a good grand like a grand 200 something like that yeah it was it was a lot of money yeah yeah mm-hmm. so i was panicking but like i said ito-san helped me pay for it and by that i meant uh, i ended up auctioning off the uh frankenstein autograph version of it of, of the one that i got which i wanted to keep but because i had a, you know to pay my, my friend's camera replace it i had to auction it off now i don't remember how much i auctioned it off for all I do remember is that it helped me pay for more than half of the camera. And I was able, out of pocket, I was able to put a little less than half of it. So, yeah, that's how the day was saved because of that. <laughs> and with that, you guys, those are some of our anime convention experiences. I know we didn't go into detail, like, what a convention is like as much as our experiences at the convention themselves. But maybe we'll release a whole episode of what conventions are like, where to go, a guide. Maybe an episode guide of conventions, like like anime convention guide episode or something. What do you think, Tanya? Yeah, maybe an episode guide would be kind of nice. I know we were all over the place with our convention stories, but eventually we got here to the end. So we hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did doing this very first uh, podcast episode, episode zero. Tanya, do you have anything else to say before we go? Thank you so much for listening to us. And thank you so much for reading uh, Crystal's uh, articles, especially. You have no idea how much time it takes me to uh, get her across California and anywhere else. And the funding. Thank you, everyone, for listening to Episode Zero of the Anime Journeys podcast. Remember to follow our podcast for more anime content. And remember to visit www.thekitsunenetwork.net for more exclusive interviews and exclusive anime content you'll only find there. If you haven't done so already, go back and listen to Episode 1 of the Anime Journeys podcast, where we discuss our experience at this year's Anime Expo. And stay tuned for the official Episode 2 of Anime Journeys, where me and Tanya will discuss transgender characters in anime and video games. We'll be speaking about characters such as Bridget, 
Poison, Lily Hoshikawa, and other more obscure characters from more obscure mediums such as One Ray Sun, Stop Hirabirakan, and Happiness. So if you guys want to listen to all that, make sure you guys tune in for Episode 2 of the Anime Journeys Podcast. To learn more about us, visit www.thekitsunenetwork.net. Thank you for listening.